so as you can see when i run it you can see that when i bring my right hand my right hand is detected when i bring my left hand my left hand is detected when i bring both of my hands my both hand is detected you can see so it's working do you want to do hand tracking with the help of ai motion trackers well that's what we are going to learn today first of all we need one main module the cv zone module which you can install using the pip install cv zone and its hand tracking module function all right so this is going to be the module cv zone dot hand tracking module import hand detector this is a similar module to cv2 now as you know to initialize our video you have to say cap equals to cv2 dot video capture now we also need to import the cv2 module which i have already covered in my previous videos now to initialize our video you have to say cap equals to cv2 dot video capture at zero now you have to say the detector now you have to activate or initialize the detector function which you have imported from cv zone so it's a detector equals to hand detector okay then you have to say detection confidence that's going to be the two parameters which you can supply so you have to say the detection confidence at what it has to reach the minimum threshold to say it's a hand this is a detection con that is a confidence equals to 0.85 we are always supplying in terms of decimals because 0.85 means 85 percent of confidence and the max number of hands it can detect in a video i'm setting it to be two you can set it to be 10 15 100 anything all right now you have to, now you have to initialize our while loop now now as you know the default parameter is success and img equals to cap dot read now we have to supply two inputs that is hands and the image is going to be it's going to be detector dot find hands function inside our image so it's going to detect and try for finding the hands inside the image now you have to say cv2 dot imc to load up the window this is going to be hand detection okay and you have to show the image now we can just add an exception to code our program that is if cv2 dot wait of one millisecond will be equal to equal to the ordinal of value q then we can just break out of the loop all right and then we can just say cap dot release so that it releases the video resource and then you can say cv2 dot destroy all windows so guys now let us run our program and have a look at it so guys there's just a small correction that the h should be capital over here and the w should be small there was just a interchange in the spellings so as you can see when i run it you can see that when i bring my right hand my right hand is detected when i bring my left hand my left hand is detected when i bring both of my hands my both hand is detected you can see so it's working guys in this case we have taken in the neural network developed by them the cv zone and we have implemented their function to design our program but next time we are going to learn how we can make the entire neural network from scratch and that's going to be our advanced task all right so guys that wraps up our video for today if you want to see more of such interesting and amazing content in the future then make sure to subscribe like and share until then be safe and goodbye